Welcome, welcome to our live stream. And uh, today is a very special day, not because it's the last live stream of the year, but today is a very special day because we have very special guests with us. And uh, the kickstart is going to be a little bit longer because uh, there's a lot of things to talk about and discuss. And some of the images that we're going to show, uh, viewer's discretion is required. All right, it's needed. So um, it's going to touch you for sure, for sure. I mean, um, let us welcome, okay? Let us welcome um, Jeff Jackson all the way from the United States. Jeff, how are you? You have to unmute yourself. How are you? <laughs> Hello, how's everybody doing? Oh, I think... Um, we are all uh, dying to hear your story, you know, but uh, let me just give you, uh, uh, our viewers, a brief introduction of your situation. Uh, yeah. Jeff suffered externally um, quite gruesome uh, skin uh, injury, disease, I don't know what you call it, but um, it's not something that he wanted. And um, unfortunately, it happened. So before we show you the photos and pictures that he has sent to me, um, maybe Jeff, you can tell us, um, or maybe we should show them first. What do you think? Uh, show them and tell at the same time. Maybe. Yeah, show and tell at the same time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the best. All right, that's a good one. <laughs> so there you go. And uh, they're still rough to look at. <laughs> yeah, so this is- That right there. Uh, scalp psoriasis. Um, just to let everybody know first, after the second uh, vaccination shot, it, within 30 minutes, I started having an allergic reaction. Never had no skin problems before. Uh, so it was kind of overwhelming, to be honest. Uh, even looking at it right now, it's, it's very overwhelming, but uh, I started the severe itching and the burning. And uh, within five days, uh, I, I was covered head to toe literally head to toe uh in plaques and shedding my skin and this went on for nine and a half months straight wow and, and you were diagnosed as a vaccine injury i was diagnosed yeah. uh, i had two biopsies come back positive for lichenoid dermatitis scalp psoriasis and inverse psoriasis all right let's so, let's just show some other photos as well and you can yes sir yeah uh man that's hard to look at i know I know it's what wow. makes it what, what, make, what makes it okay to look at now is knowing that I don't have it right now. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Uh, awesome. But when you, you had, had it, it, you had it for what about? Uh, did you mention nine months or was it more than a year? I mean, uh, I w I had I actually looked like this for a little over nine months. Okay. Uh, I wasn't able to leave my. Uh, apartment because skin would be flying off me left and right. Uh, you'll, I'm pretty sure you'll come to a picture here pretty soon, soon where it shows uh, the dustpan right there. If you'll look at that one right there, you can see it on my eyelids. I try and lay down at night. My skin became so sensitive that those plaques would fall off my eyelids and yeah. they would pierce me like knives all in my face and all over my body and they would drop into my eyes and I'd, I'd lose vision for days at a time. Um, that's behind your ear, right? So yes, sir. Uh, there's a right there, about an inch from the ear. It looks like a crystal that's hanging off my ear, and that's actually the development of a skin tag. Uh, mm. I never had no skin tags in my life, and now I've got like fifty of them uh, under my armpits. Is real bad. Behind my ears is real bad mm. too. Like like in that picture. Yeah, I, um, I didn't I didn't show the armpit pictures, but maybe um, we'll show others. Oh yes, sir. Yeah. Well, you can even see right there in the armpit. Yeah, you can see. Yeah. They are. Yeah, absolutely. You can see it. Yeah. The pain is and this, I can't, this I can't, one I can't here. describe. I can't describe the pain. I've I've suffered from uh, gout since I was 11 years old. Uh and everybody knows how painful gout can be. Uh this 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 is way more painful than gout. There was nights where it was so painful I'd wake up on the shower floor with the water hit me still and wake up an hour later not knowing what happened. I'd pass out from the pain. Wow. And you're a big guy, you know, and when you say it's that painful, wow, I can't Six foot one, 
six foot one, 250 pounds, uh, climb cell phone towers and go straight to the gym. You know, I thought I was a pretty tough guy, but you know, this, this will humble you. Yeah. In a, in a heartbeat. And look at that. So, I mean, do you still have all this? I mean, like, tell no. us. Uh, no, sir. No, no more. sir. Uh, eventually, you know, with it, so many great and amazing people will come into your life when this happens and they share information about what they may know or cures or remedies mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And it's basically, for me, it became a trial and error situation to where I became my own lab rat, I guess you could say. Yep. But uh, 75 percent of my skin problems I've gotten taken care of by using uh, a mixture of what I put together, colloidal silver, the neem oil with aloe vera and tea tree oil. And then I'd sprinkle the powder zeolite on top of it. And then I'd rub it all over me, my whole body. Within yeah. five days, I basically got it to go away. Um, but there were still places, the top of my head, my underarms, my under region, yeah. and uh, the lower part, lumbar part of my back, there were still problems. And that's when this amazing device came in handy. That right there, if you look at the picture on my left, which would be camera left, I believe, they, um, I was able to cross my legs. I had a, a buddy come over here uh, to help me out one day. And I said, hey, watch this. I crossed my leg. And if you ever seen a, uh, a lava lamp, mm -hmm. that redness would move around like the lava in a lava lamp. Wow. You could actually sit and watch the color move through my legs. And this, yeah. That, that's, that was on my back. That is what they, the actual plaques. Uh, I have to go back to the dermatologist and what I originally thought it was, was plaque psoriasis. Mm -hmm. But after the two biopsies, it came back as the lichenoid dermatitis. And this is a residue in the skin. Um... Every single day, I would sweep up my apartment two times and that's what I'd get. Uh, before I go lay down in bed at night, I'd have to sweep off my bed because of all the skin and the sheets and the, uh... man, that's hard to look at. How to imagine what you went through and there's also a short video that you sent which is actually showing us the sound cracking sound yes this is when, the when your neighbor so even your neighbor can can hear it so we'll play that okay we'll play that Yeah, they've just played that, and uh, it's amazing. I, I mean, I, I was a, a people accuse you of uh, using clickers or some, some something to make that noise, and it wasn't. There. That was yeah. that was my knees, and now I could stand up. I'm sitting here moving my leg right now. No sound. No That's sound at all. No sound. So, how how did you um, get to know about Prive International and iTerra Care, the device? I mean, how did you get to know about it? Tell us. I've been on social media promoting my story and all over, uh, and I've gained a lot of people in my life. Uh, one of the people who is a God sending and a pure blessing was uh, Stacy Murray, uh, who goes by the, the, the one fairy. The one fairy. And yes, yes, sir. Uh, she messaged me on November 20th on my Instagram and the exact message say, hey, where are you from? I want to send you a wand. And I didn't know what it was. Of course, I'd already had a little bit of knowledge of frequencies and stuff like that, uh, uh, just natural healing. But she had, uh, she said, I'm going to send you this for free. And that wow. right there touched me. I mean, when someone says, hey, uh, you know, you go to a doctor, you, you try and get, you know, help and everything. They want your insurance. So they want you to pay right up front. And here's an individual. Uh, and who doesn't know, who doesn't know you. Who doesn't know me? She said she had followed me for a few months and she felt compelled to message me and knew my situation was going on and everything. So she sent it to me and I told her right off the bat, after all the treatments and supplements and, you know, the dietary changes and everything and nothing working, you just become, you could Skept become hesitant. skeptical, right? Very skeptical, skeptical. And you become hesitant to use anything because it's like, it's yeah. not going to work. I know. So she sent it and it, and it came in the mail uh, in about a week. And a couple of days later, I tried it for the first time and it was on a Saturday. I'll never forget it. Uh, she told me what to do is what I did is uh, I used the wand on my entry and exit points, which would be my palms and my soles. Yeah. Uh, I charged up a glass of water and I drank my water. Um, and then I used the setting on one. 
uh, just to see what it'd be like. I did my palms and my soles of my feet, and then I focused on my, my stomach area and my head. That's all I did was on level one. And I, how I many really how many minutes me. how many minutes did you fifteen minute time? session? One 15, fifteen minutes. minutes. Okay, session. so you followed yeah to the uh, and that was on a Saturday. Well, I skipped Sunday because I had some stuff I had to take care of. But then on Monday, I decided to on my next session I was going to do the fifteen minute section, and uh, I, I used it on the level three. Okay. So I used it the same way, the same exact way. Drink the the water and everything, and then that's when I started feeling the difference. I was talking to Stacy on the phone and I was pacing back and forth. I had so much energy, you know, it was like a natural energy. It, was, wow. it just felt great after being locked up in this apartment, you know, for uh, 16 months, you just start to, you lose your energy. You lay down in bed. You just, everything depletes from you. You just don't want to do nothing. Uh, and I even told Stacy, you know, after the, on the fifth, after the second treatment of the 15 minute treatment, that's when I took those pictures of the uh, my underarm problem, and you could just tell the difference. Skin tags were shrinking up, some gone away. Coloration was gone. There was no more uh, scabbing or placking. It was it was amazing. So that put my head, that put everything in motion for me to try a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. uh, by the by the fifth day, I, I'll never forget it. I got dressed and I told myself I was going to get out. You know. <clears throat> mm -hmm. For the so, first time in a year and a half, I went and sat down at a restaurant and ate a, a meal. Wow. You know, when, when you can't leave your house and you have three visitors over 16 months and you're doing everything for yourself and you're just trying to, it, it was rough. You just, you just don't have no more social interaction, I guess. I know. People, and, and they try to, they, so they, people avoided you and they oh, yeah. call you uh, they call you all kinds of things right you you mentioned yeah that. i've had memes made about me calling me a snake uh one of the doctors that was supposed to be helping me at the beginning went on a podcast and him and the the host of the podcast called me a serpent shedding snake toxins on people wow and the sad thing about it is eight months later he goes on to another doctor's podcast and claims that he was given the wrong information and that he was wrong uh but no apology to me so that that all hurt uh and far from that you get i've had death threats many death threats people telling me to kill myself people telling me that they were going to kill me or take my life because i was imposing harm to them by spreading toxins uh the first time i went into the grocery store i had kids running from me because skin would be falling off of me uh the doctor even put it in the diagnosis that it was the most impressive uh thing he'd ever seen because they had to sweep up a dustpan full of skin dead skin Bro, man you've gone through a lot you are really really brave i mean um and look at you now i i mean maybe externally it's it looks much much better now but internally yes sir i guess you're still healing and um how many percent would you would you say you know because of the eye care okay, that um, externally and internally you're you're on your way to recovery how many percent would yes, you sir. Put it? I, I would say the uh the extent of the uh externally uh after i i used the uh, stuff that i made i'd say that there was still about 40 35 to 40 percent maybe of uh, the problem left mm -hmm. and because of the the itera wand i think i i'd, I'd maybe say there's like five to ten percent left that i need to take care of externally yeah, yeah. Uh, internally now that I'm able to move my knees, uh, I wasn't able to move any of my toes on my right foot. Now I can sit here and wiggle them, plain as day. Um, one of the greatest things is that I didn't get a stand with my wand. So to get my back, uh, I'd have to put it on a pillow because I couldn't move my shoulders real good because of the, the arthritic, mm -hmm. uh, the psoriasis. Mm -hmm. uh, but now I can sit and I can, you see, full range of motion. <laughs> wow. uh, I wasn't the motion. able to move my neck. Yeah. I wasn't great. able to turn my head now turn it side to side amazing so I don't know if I can put a percentage on the internally but mm -hmm. I can tell you I have a life again I, I moved know. out of my bedroom I mean, yeah. my living room. and you could get out there and have some food in the restaurant or something yes yes sir uh I, I've I have a buddy in Mobile who was injured and um he's going through a very rough time and two weeks ago I just got up one day and I said you know what I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna give him a wand to yep. use i didn't give him a wand because i couldn't afford it yet but uh, i went over there and i did a session for him and 
I told Mr. John, when you're looking at him, he has the, uh, the myocarditis. He had to have two splints. He had clots removed, all kinds of problems. And he, he looks, when you see him now, it's almost like he looks dead. Like he just, you know, eyes shut, he just don't move. But after that one session, I told Mr. John that he had a look in his eyes and it's something that I like to call the alive look. You just looked alive. He had energy. Jeff, so, Jeff, Jeff. I mean, you've gone through a lot. Look, listen, we, we're going to give you one, 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 one. All right. We're going to give you a classic. <laughs> we're going to be shipped to you um, soon. All right. So oh, I, you, have, I have the one. And it's, no, you can it's give amazing. it to, you can give it to whoever, oh, okay. you, you know, so. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. Yeah, so he actually good. tried to get on the live stream last Friday, and every time he typed it in, it would erase it. So <laughs> there you go. You don't even have to try. <laughs> no, I sir. feel you. I feel you. All right. So I do we're appreciate gonna, it. Gonna, doctor. We're gonna give you one. And um, all I can say is uh, thank you so much. You're brave to come forward to share. And I think tell our audience why is it that you want to come forward to share. I mean, you're not a the gay main reason. You're not again. Like I told yeah. everybody else on the other podcasts, or anytime I've gone public with this, I do want to get healing. That's my number one concern to heal myself. But after that, I want other people to be healed because there's people out there still that I know of, or they're they don't want to come out. They're they're being ridiculed or something like that. They're scared. They're afraid. Well, I, I want to. I want. I want to be able to help people. There, are, people need to know that there's there's other ways. And, and it's not just about the injured, you know, let's, let's go ahead and set that out there. This isn't about just the people who have gotten injured from that. There, there's all kinds of helpful benefits from this. All you got to do is go research it. It's amazing. Some of these stories that these testimonies of what people share, it's just amazing. So, yeah, yeah I, I just, I, I just want people to know. Yeah. Because it's amazing. It, it really is. I can't, I can't, it's almost so much joy that it leaves you uh word struck. You can't speak about it. So it has it has now become your why. Oh yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. And it is definitely anyway. a daily routine because if yeah. I stop a day or I take a break, I can tell. You can tell. You really can. And that and that's some one of those things that says, hey, you're doing something right because something's working. You don't use it, it stops working. It's got to be working. So yeah, stick with it. I know. Well, thanks a lot, Jeff, for coming um, to this live stream and to share with so many viewers who will be watching well, this uh, live stream you. after this. And I'm sure they will be um, listening to your story and uh, maybe give it a go, right? Just give it a go. I, appre I appreciate you all so much. You just don't know. I feel you, man. So take care and um, see you soon, all right? Yes, sir. Okay, there you have heard from the man himself um yeah it takes a lot you know when you never expected and just within hours as you have heard it he felt something was different already with his skin and after the next few days wow all hell breaks loose isn't it and when you have been in this situation for months and months and in his case for such a long time People starts to avoid you, calling you what snake or whatever. I mean, it hurts a lot, you know. And uh, miracles somehow do happen, right? And yeah, the one fairy, <laughs> Stacy, amazing woman. Please, I know you're watching right now, Stacy. Continue to do what you do. You're doing great. All right. So uh, before we introduce our next guest. Um, I have to tell, you know, last live stream, um, wow, hundreds of people participated, all right? Hundreds of people. And uh, it was very difficult, very difficult to just narrow it down to 10 people. And so I requested from the management and I said, can we increase to 20? And they were gracious enough immediately without any hesitation. So we increased it to 20. So right now, I'm just going to very quickly announce uh, who are the 20 winners. So among the 20 winners, of course, we include, um, uh, you know, <laughs> you're going to see the list anyway. All right. As I'm going to read out uh, to you just a moment. Let me just get it. Um, yeah, there you go. I hope you guys can see it. So we had 
supposedly 10 free giveaways, but now it's 20. And uh, yeah, these are, the, these are the winners. All right. So bear with us because now it's a festive uh, season and let's get on with the new year. And we'll try to arrange for you, hopefully by the first week of January, 2023. Amanda Johnson. All right. I'm sure you're happy for her all right, to get an additional unit. Uh, Karine Helenius Prowl from Sweden. Melissa Strange from Indiana, USA. Marita Lucia Liak from Pasig City, the Philippines. Marites Cadiente Dulai, Poblacion, Makati, Philippines. And uh, Miss Jess Rowlands, yes, in case you I saw the ID, it's also spelled as Miss, <laughs> Miss Jess Rowlands. From Kent, England. And uh, Paula Jean Green, Ohio, USA. Ara Ariane Di Tugaon, Davao City, Philippines. Nyagap Yaki Simon. All right. It could be Simon. I don't know. Kisumu, Kenya. And uh, Jill Mogenbock, Michigan, USA. Lynette Bendanilo Bandola, Davao City, Philippines. Harin Maktaas Famado, Davao City. So quite a few from Davao City. Uh, of course, we don't pick based on location, we pick based on why and who they are, right? Nadia Rosman from Slovenia. I hope I pronounced the names correctly, guys. Forgive me if I uh, pronounce your name incorrectly. Tamara Sain from Alberta, Canada. Marie Ananda Shakti from Ireland. Um, oh, I spelled this wrongly. I think it's uh, Te Cheng Swan from Malaysia, Penang. Barbara McIntyre from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And we have uh, Ebenezer Bote from New Jersey, USA. Yeah, spoke to him today. Great guy. Ali Viljami Kosku from Sweden. And last but not least, Mr. Jeff Jackson. I save it. <laughs> save the best for last. All right. So there you have it. And those of you who didn't win, don't... Uh, you should be happy for all these guys who did, all right? And I mean, everyone is a winner, really, with iTerra Care. Everyone is a winner. And let's hope we can spread this to the rest of the world. So without much further ado, let us welcome our next guest. But before I introduce him, I have to um, say this, right? Joey Phillips, right, is a leader, medical researcher, epigenetics, I hope I pronounced it correctly, health advocate and master DNA. So can we please welcome our special guest, jo Joseph Phillips, all the way from the United States. Hi, Joey. How are you? Greetings. Good morning from my side of the world. <laughs> I know. It's pretty early. I know. I know. And um, after hearing the story of Jeff, um, yeah, you were in the background. It's very touching. And I feel you, you know, when I call you weeks ago and we were talking and I feel that you really, your purpose is to help humanity, to help people, to get down to the truth, to get down to the, the real stuff, you know, to make it happen, to heal people, to do whatever you can. And you self-study a lot. I mean, a lot of stuff you learn by yourself. You marvel me. Um, one thing that really got me into, you know, calling you to the live stream is to know more about your DNA. I mean, you you... From the DNA of individuals, you you basically can tell what is wrong with them. I mean, how do you do that? Please share with us. Sure. Um, so a little background on me before I tell you about the DNA diligence. And that's just what it is, leaving no stone unturned. Um, you have to put in the time and the research and the study in order to uncover the nuggets, right? Otherwise, everyone would know what the nuggets were. Yeah. And so um, I got introduced to Prife International from a good friend of mine from Las Vegas, uh, Mr. Sean Moshes. Um, he knew I was in the frequency. I had been a bioacoustic technician before where we would record people's voices and it would take that uh, voice recording and we would plug it into some software and it would convert it into a numerical mathematical frequency matrix that would print out a report for us to be able to analyze for our clients. And it would tell you genes and enzymes and pathways and vitamins, minerals, I mean, you name it. The only problem was you kind of needed a PhD to interpret the data. 
So I would spend hours and hours and hours, sometimes 16 hours a day researching complex medical journals to try to figure out why those things were coming up on the reports. Well, he knew that I was into frequency. So he sent me um, one of the 45 minute presentations. I got about two minutes into it. And I was like, yes, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> I got to have that device. And I think so, you felt the yes. you felt the vibration of the device. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I, you know, I have this uh, frequency determines physiology, you know, I mean, that's just the bottom line mm -hmm. of how the universe works. It all works on frequency and vibration, yep, yep, yep. you know, like <laughs> Tesla said, you know, if you want to know the secrets, you got to look into this kind of stuff. Yeah. And so that's, that's kind of what I began doing. And I was always kind of curious to figure out how I always want to know how. Mm -hmm. um things work you know the curious mind so i don't have a medical background by any means um i wanted to save my money and not go into debt and um, i actually wanted it a, a proper education on how the body works so i started teaching i started teaching myself unfortunately i don't teach the necessary things you need to know in medical school. yes you know, yes schools have been hijacked um a long time ago the schools have been hijacked the uh, you know, the pharmaceutical companies, pharmacia, mm -hmm. um, you know, they're in, they're in a business. It's all a business and their yeah. business is keeping you well enough, but sick enough at the same time. And so I wanted to change things and I, and I like doing that for people as well, to try to figure out, you know, what they can do as an alternative means of therapy to be able to reverse engineer these types of things. And so I came across these databases one day where they list all the maladies, they list all the diseases, they list all the pathways. And so it's very easy for me now, I've been doing this for years, to be able to figure out which genes and pathways are associated with any disease, really. Mm -hmm. And so that's where the name DNA diligence came because that's what yeah. we're doing. We're uncovering exactly what's going on with an individual. You know? So how how does um how how does this device uh, fit into the scheme of things like um of what you're doing? Because sure. It's you have other modality, yeah. To go inside, outside approach. <laughs> I, I can just imagine when you grab the device delivered to you for the first time, you'll be experimenting it, maybe opening it. And I don't know. I can just imagine seeing you well, doing that stuff. I got, I got this device, and it was perfect timing for me because I, had, I have my own personal testimony. I'd been in a really bad car accident years ago where I'd roll the jeep down a cliff, and I was in a hospital for six months, couldn't walk. Long story short, um, my whole body got crushed. And I knew at one point in time in the future, I was going to have to have knee surgery. Mm -hmm. And so it had gotten to the point to where it was so painful. Um, for me, I couldn't even, you know, drive my girls around in, in the vehicle because I, my knee would lock up and I couldn't hit the brake. And so it got really scary. Wow. And I just, right around that time, it just so happened I had got the device and I immediately started on my knees. And literally in three days, the pain was gone. I could sleep again. Uh, it was just like, it was a miracle. I got my life back. Um, I could sleep again because the pain was so bad. I could barely sleep, you know? So I have a lot of my own personal testimonies. Um, I've been using it on my father as well. Mm -hmm. um, his testimonials are just outstanding. Um, my, my whole other side of the family thought he was on his deathbed. And I pretty much pretty much brought him back to life with this device, you know? Wow. Um, he, 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 he suffers from microcirculation issues, deep vein thrombosis type issues, mm -hmm. um, is at risk for blood clots and things like that. And there's nothing on the planet that is a more impactful product on microcirculation than the terahertz device. It's just, yeah. there's nothing else like it, you know? Yeah. And so the way that it kind of works. If you don't mind, I'll just segue right into this and yeah. maybe play yeah. out a little bit of what Jeff was speaking about earlier with the skin. Yep. You know, um, we are one big hydroelectric machine, right? We're 70% water and we have electrical channels in the body. They're called ion channels. And if you have an issue with an ion channels, they're called channelopathies. And there's tons of them, tons and tons and tons of them. But the primary way that this device works is obviously through the skin, right? It has to penetrate that, that barrier. 
in order to get down into the bone. And that is called what's called mechanotransduction. And that's just a fancy way of saying how a frequency penetrates the skin, right? Mechanotransduction. And that all works on what's called piezoelectricity. Okay. Every single device that you have that you use technology wise works off piezoelectricity. And that's basically how an applied pressure, if you will, creates an electronic force. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so we have these, these receptors all throughout our skin that transmit that signal from the device into, into the body. And again, it works on piezoelectricity. Well, you have piezo genes, piezo one and piezo two, they're called. Mm-hmm. And they're extremely important for, um, for the blood, for microcirculation as well. In fact, if your piezo genes are not uh, working correctly, um, it's associated with like dehydration of the blood vessel even, okay? Mm-hmm. So the, the piezo gene, and I was always, a, I'm a real big fan of knowing what words mean. I think it's really important to figure out what the etymology of words mean. And so over the years I've been doing this DNA diligence, I've been able to uncover kind of a secret code hidden within the naming of the genes. In other words, whoever's naming these genes is doing it um, for very specific reasons. And so um, the very first time I came across this type of information, um, there's a calcium signaling gene in the body, Mm -hmm. and it kind of works on piezoelectricity and mechanotransduction. And if you don't know this, calcium signaling sits in the center of the epicenter of almost literally everything that takes place in the body. In fact, when the sperm hits the egg, it's this huge calcium zinc or zinc, uh, zinc flash that takes place right at the moment of conception, followed by a huge calcium flux. And that calcium flux forms these waves. They actually recorded this, that that form like a triskelion type of symbol. And if you don't know, the triskelion symbol is one of the most ancient symbols known to man. And what it does is it conducts electricity is exactly what it does. So you have this this unique geometry taking place in the body through calcium signaling, forming these geometric wave-like patterns um, associated with uh, what's called the Aurea channels. They're called the Aurea spelled um, O-R-A-I. And the first time I came across this gene, I was researching a client's, um, always, I think it was involved with seizures or something like that, if I remember correctly. And I came across this gene um, where it talked about the gatekeepers of heaven, uh, peace and harmony and justice. Um, and it's associated with uh, a, a Greek mythology. So I, I said to myself, why are they putting, why are they naming genes after Greek mythology? You know, and I just thought that was the most fascinating thing um, to be able to uncover. And over the years, I've been able to uncover hundreds of genes mm-hmm. that they have named after ancient mythologies. Um, another one is called Nanog. It's the Chirdinanog. It's an ancient Celtic um, word that means like promised land. Wow, um, like very interesting. Um, like promised land, land of the youth, if you will. And they named a gene after this because it's intimately involved with stem cells. Right? That's, uh, that's kind of the, the correlation between the two is a stem cell can, can move around in the body and form whatever cell is needed at the time Mm -hmm. to regenerate tissue internal organs and things like that and i was able to figure out how the terahertz frequency impacts that whole mechanism and in in fact it it does but when i started looking at the etymology of um the the alias of the word piezo in the gene cards it had an alias that's called mib and i thought that was a very strange alias to name a gene that's called piezo. They don't fit. And so I knew something was awry with this. So I looked further into it, into the etymology of it. And it means fat is what I mean, interlaced with fat. And so you can go find the research study where the piezoelectric um, 
signaling is fine-tuned by dietary fatty acids. And the way that that works is <laughs> through fatty acid metabolism in the mitochondria through ATP generation. And so if you want to produce energy in the body and enhance mitochondria function, dietary fatty acids um, fine-tune the piezoelectric signal in the body. So when you're doing this internal external approach, right? The, the problem with the Western diet is we're eating all these horrible fats. Well, fat isn't the enemy. It's the types of fats that we're eating, you know, wow. in this, this modern Western, Western so, diet. So basic, basically, it's um, your, your uh, research in the DNA is uncoding, right? All these different uh, names and um, finding out Absolutely. what is the real uh purpose right i mean why they are called such and such a name so with yeah. eye terra care with a terahertz frequency um, how does that tie in together with what you do yeah absolutely so if i take on a client obviously i'm looking at the genes and the pathways and i'm trying to figure out which compounds in nature mm -hmm. have the ability to modulate that gene and pathway and then every single time we're doing internal external approach so we're always utilizing the magic wand right mm -hmm. to be able to enhance right so for example if i was if i was to put somebody on a, a formulation i'm always going to recommend that they charge their water and charge mm -hmm. the formulation with it as well like if it's like a powdered supplement for example you know if it's a powdered supplement you should be charging these things um before you actually um take them because it's going to enhance the mm. bioavailability is what it's called right so a lot of people talk about expensive vitamins and the way that the terahertz mm -hmm. frequency works on um bioavailability and bioabsorption mm -hmm. utilizing uh god-given natural compounds mm -hmm. is through um uh, what's called um, clathrin mediated endocytosis. I don't want to lose anybody here. Yeah. But clathrin is a very unique protein in the body that is a transport cargo type of protein. It imports mm -hmm. and exports like uh, UPS shipping, if you will. Okay. And I was able to De delivery, study. delivery. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, transport delivery. Well, viruses and pathogens hijack that pathway. As well, mm -hmm. in order to gain entry into the cell, they're mm -hmm. utilizing the same the same routes, if you will. They're they're mm -hmm. trying to um, block the route, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but what I was able to uncover was that the terahertz frequency is able to modulate clathrin mediated endocytosis, thereby enhancing bioabsorption. Mm -hmm. um, I think the number was like thirty to forty percent increase. And mm -hmm. there's just so many studies I was able to uncover with the terahertz frequency it's it's absolutely phenomenal you know so oh, that's, that's uh from a frequency guy like you and very technical uh, we guy we were talking about the pyramids a little bit earlier and how it was like might have been this energy you know type of station if you will yeah. and i was i was i was kind of laughing in the back of my mind because when you look up the word um piezo one in the gene cards with the mib at um alias when mm -hmm. you look a little bit further into the etymology of that word, and it doesn't stand for men in black, although it probably could. <laughs> this MIB alias. Yeah. Um, when you look into it a little bit further, not only does it mean fat, but it also means calcium carbonate, mm -hmm. limestone. Limestone. Also limestone. the name of it. And mm -hmm. isn't it interesting that the pyramids were lined with limestone, calcium carbonate? which would yeah. have been like this huge gleaming type of sun-like, you know, magnification if you were to look at it from abroad before the last pharaoh took all of the, the limestone off. Yeah. And so then I was able to uncover a study that talked about um, these micro crystals in the mm -hmm. pineal gland. The pineal gland, yeah. The pineal gland. Yeah. So it I sort of gets calcified to... as you grow, yeah. <laughs> this is your like spirit gland, you know, it's what sure, connects sure, you yeah. to stores, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to uncover um, how a terahertz frequency might vibrate those crystal lattices. Yeah. That's what they call them within the pineal gland. And they were able mm -hmm. to uncover two forms of microcrystals in the pineal gland. Mm -hmm. One of them was calcium carbonate. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And the other one was calcium oxalate. So mm -hmm. in, in, if people are not familiar with calcium oxalate crystals, they're like little shards of glass that can damage the inner lining of the blood vessel and cause right. internal damage, you know? Yeah. And it happens more often than not. In fact, it's probably the number one cause of atherosclerosis, um, heart disease related issues, mm -hmm. blood clots, things of that yeah. nature. Because when, when that calcium oxalate crystal mm -hmm. cuts the inner lining of the blood vessel, you mm -hmm. have cholesterol that comes to the scene to plug up the hole so you don't have a yeah. leaky blood vessel. Yeah. So then cholesterol gets blamed, gets yeah. blamed for all the problems. For the flood, yeah. It's Absolutely. You, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, and so to break up all that stuff, you can simply use the terahertz frequency. But what was yeah. really fascinating about this study was that, and I'll just read it uh, so I don't mess this up because it's so profound. Mm -hmm. These... Um, these pineal microcrystals appear to stack in a geometrical shape. Mm -hmm. um, and and the, the geometry is called the uh, rhombohedron. There's a rhombohedron, a geometry in the pineal gland. And if you look up the etymology, again, I like looking at words, it forms um, another word called the rhombi. And if you look a little bit further, Mm -hmm. right, this is what we do with DNA diligence. We're constantly uncovering things. Mm -hmm. But if you look a little bit further into the etymology of that word, it literally means a magician's circle. So what is a magician's circle? It was uh, a sacred energy space that they used um, for, from protection from evil to counter disease-carrying demons. That's what a magician's circle is. <laughs> So when wow. you tear the pineal gland, <laughs> you are forming this geometrical shape that forms the same exact geometry as a magician's circle to ward off disease carrying. You know, um, Joey, so cool. <laughs> this is pretty heavy stuff, really. I mean, uh, for yeah, people so cool. in the energy world, they will appreciate what you're talking about. But yeah. for people who are not in the energy world, they'll be like, huh, what is this guy talking yeah. about? <laughs> But uh, anyway, know, yeah, just know it's 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 helping the body tremendously. That's the yeah, bottom. yeah, yeah. Right. Anyway, um, yeah, because we are running a bit out of time as well. And uh, thank you so much, uh, Joey, for coming forward to share your knowledge. And for those of you who really, you know, uh, want a better understanding about DNA and stuff like that, you can always look him up in Facebook, <laughs> right? And uh, he's always willing to help. All right, so thank you. And um, yes, there you have it, guys. Uh, very interesting uh, guest that we have uh, today. And uh, well, before we end, all of us, <laughs> right, get to um, say something that is, we want to wish every one of you. And today, we also have a special guest, uh, John King, because John is also linked to Jeff, and he was supposed to, you know, John went back, I think, a couple of live streams before. And um, that's where Jeff was supposed to, you know, come on. But uh, yeah, anyway, he's here today, which is uh, most important. So all of us would like to wish each and every one of you watching right now a happy, uh, wonderful 2023 and also um, be safe while you're enjoying the New Year's Eve party, right? And uh, we look forward to a better year in 2023 where we can save more people out there. And if you think that Private International has done pretty well within the first one and a half years, I think um, we are just at the tip of the iceberg. We haven't even, we barely started really. Uh, there are so many people out there who still have yet to listen um, about how Terra, Terra hurts, how iTerra care uh, can work for them. And so many people out there in different parts of the world who have not heard about us. So hopefully you'll be the ones to share with them. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, um, Jeff. Thank you, Joey and John. Thank you. Thanks so much. Uh, you've been very supportive. So happy new year. And bye for now. Happy New Year. <laughs> yes. 2023, here we come. Yes. 
Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. Medical disclaimers. iTerra Classic and iTerra Pro are not medical devices. The information provided on our website is for educational purposes only and does not substitute for professional medical advice. Please consult a medical professional or healthcare provider if you are seeking medical advice, diagnoses, or treatment. Priif International shall not be liable for risks or issues associated with using or acting upon the information on our website. Priif International shall not be liable or responsible for the actions, misrepresentations, or negligence of our members who are independent contractors.